Hey, you live with Doughboy and Money Mind, man. Stacks Magazine, what it do? Stacks Magazine, I fucks with y'all, man. Doughboy and Money Mind, ready for the world. Shout out to Stacks. Ready, 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 ready. Yeah, yeah. Ready for the world. Doughboy the wait, man. Ready for the world. Niggas wake up every day and hate the shit they do, man. I'm, so I'm Money Mind, aka Montana the Dying. West side up, Montana down. You know, I'm, you know, I'm a West Side nigga, born and raised right here in Adamville. You know, pretty much where I'm from, where I grew up at. You know, got money over here. Got them started the music business right here. You know, we hanging out right now with Styria. Shit, you know them. Uh, let you holler, partner dope. Let him introduce himself. Yeah, you know, no boy, wait, man, Adamville. You know, the one from basically the same thing where you, you know what he said. Uh, for how do you know music mold us, and you know we always been around music. You know, my brother and cousin, them they was rapping in the late eighties, early nineties. His brother was doing it. You know, rest in peace, Chris Terry. You know, he did a lot of stuff for a lot of groups out here and stuff like that, writing and features and stuff like that. You know. Uh, Shit, my dad stayed next door to kill a mic, you know, so it was just, you know, it was just hip hop was always around us, you know what I mean? So, you know, and we try to really just rap about what we do and what we see and how we were raised. So, you know, that's basically pretty much it on, you know, how the hip hop just basically just moved us and stuff like that. You know, it's always been around, man. You know, when we were younger, just getting, me and him used to, Really, about eight or nine, get records, scratch up your dad and records when we were little in the basement, in the basement and just get scratching on the rap. And we were eight or nine years old. You should do shit like that. But you know, you know, I mean, you know, it always been them hip hop and you know, the music and the love for it. You know what I mean? Because, like I say, people older than us who was around, you know, they lived it and we seen them boys battle in it. So, you know, it's always been in us since I can say probably really about day one, man. I say pretty much, you know, we um pretty much like just, you know, just like us, just, you know, pretty different from, you know, the next group out there. Like we 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 more, you know, we on the on the way we grew up the the hood, the street shit, but at the same time, you know, we 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 think we're a, a, a little a little more lyrical cuz that's what we got in us, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we bring to the table that's different from you. You know your your average group that's out because a lot of people right now you know you know it's a lot of music out there but a lot of you know in my opinion you know you know I, I don't want to you know I'm well, I'm gonna say you know kind of garbage right now you know so really I guess that's that's why well our style come in and different from everybody else because you know we offer that at the same time we offer that street you know you know that hood shit the struggle you know at the same time we got down. You know, we serious about our issue. We can jump out there with any, any nigga want to get in the booth with us. So, I say pretty much play or shit, laid back, you know, club. You know, we, we do it all for the most part, you know. Goddamn. We got, we, we like, like, for instance, on our CD, uh, you know, Ready for the World. That's what we got out now. It's, uh, it's, uh, because we both actually are solo artists. But at the same time, we, we got a group project out now called Ready for the World. So, on that, we got tracks, you know, for the ladies, you know what I mean? We got tracks for the club, like the one we got with Young Jock. Uh, we got shit for the radio, like the one we got with uh, Killer Mike. This is what we do. Uh, Yola on it. You know, so pretty much we... Uh, Something for the street, too. You know, Slick Puller. Yeah, Slick Puller. You know what I mean? Talking about them niggas snitching. All y'all niggas out there snitching, man. Stop it. You know, <laughs> you know, so that's how we do it, man. It's, 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 it is what it is, you know. CT Records, that's how we get out, man. Trap flooded, you know what I mean? So we got one uh, stat bread with Jock, you know, that right there from the, from the hit the, you know, hit the town real hard, hit the scene real hard with that one right there. Um, basically, I say you can put the album in and really just let it ride, you know what I mean? From 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 the beginning to the end, you know, so basically everybody who in it, you know, they really liking it, you know what I mean? So, you know, it is. Nah, my bad, dog. I was gonna say, if y'all wanna check it out, get the visual. We got the video on YouTube, so you can uh, click on put Doughboy Money Money in. You'll go to uh, Trap Flooded. We got Trap Flooded ready for the world and work all three videos. We got behind the scene footage, you know, as we shooting the videos and all that. So, you know, just uh, YouTube. 
put in Doughboy Money Mind. Doughboy or, and Money Mind. Make sure you, one word, Doughboy, uh, <laughs> space, A-N, A-N-D, space, Money Mind, one word. You got to put in there just like that for it to come up. But like you say, Trap Flood at work. You know what I mean? Ready for the world, man. So check you know, it out. Check it out. All that shit, real shit. You know, and we getting uh we getting pretty good views, so click on that and help support it. Them views doing numbers, so yeah. you know, click on help support that thing. Uh we worked with uh Pittman. Pittman, you know, he did a track on our for us. Uh Pittman did the part like a rock star. Uh old dude, Big Russ, he did a track on that for us, but you know I could say a good ninety eight to ninety seven percent of the album, you know, was produced by Midnight like Black, that. you know what I mean? Okay. You know what I mean, shout out to Black too, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I, 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 you know, the lane open, you know. I, I mean, if you know, opportunity come my way, I'm going to try to take it. You know what I mean? So, you know, basically, anybody, you got anybody in particular, you know what I mean? Shit, like you say, the lane open, you know what I mean? We we, we looking to work with everybody. Uh, anybody yeah. who doing this thing that, you know, I, I say personally, one of my one of my artists that I would want to work with though, you know, hometown favorite, Outkast, you know what I mean? Andre, Big Boy, you know, so if y'all, you know, listen to this, <laughs> holla at your boy, man, Dope Boy Money Money. Yeah. Who you say, uh, T.I., Rick Ross? Rick Ross, I fuck with Rose, I fuck with Rose hard, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, home killing him right now, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's pretty much it, man. We pretty much do our own thing, man, and try to hold them 16 down, you know, but we ain't turning no features down, and okay. especially, you know, from the big dogs like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, next, we're going to, actually, man, we still promoting the Ready for the World right now, but the next project, you know, we uh, headed more back probably to some up-and-coming artists we got, but at the same time, we probably moved back into our solo projects because, like I said, you know, we solo artists, Dope Boy The Weight Man, Money Mind, a.k.a. Montana, so... You know, we, we still actually working on them songs right now, but we, you know, so busy trying to promote the Ready for the World right now. That's that's really what we focused on, doing more videos for that and, uh, you know, getting them posted on YouTube and uh, World Star Hip Hop. So uh, right now, before I get in the studio again, it'll probably be the, the uh, solo project for Doughboy and Money Mind and the compilation we're trying to put out for uh, CT Records. I mean, you know, we do what we want to do. Ain't no, ain't nothing, ain't no label telling us we can't put this out. You know, for us on on that aspect of it, you know. Uh, I mean, independent. You know, it just, you know, I mean, I mean, it basically is what it is with me. You know what I mean? It's independent. So you know, I mean, you know, it, 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 I can say it's really, you know, it's kind of, you know, what you can say, well, kind of a little harder. You know what I mean? But I, I guess one of the one of the advantages is like you said we could put out what we want when we want to you know what i'm saying uh i guess the disadvantage of it is we're independent so it's all coming out of our pocket but at the same time it's advantage because you know any money that come in come right back to us you know what i'm saying so it's like it's like uh it's like uh it's like a give and take type of thing you know if you want it bad enough you're willing to put everything you got into it so you know like they, they they reap with the with the benefits when the money come in, you know, goddamn, it's all ours. So we stuff it in our pocket, you know what I mean. But I guess for for people who you know getting into the game, I guess I say like uh, up and coming independent labels like you know like us, um, you know we've been in the game I say well over ten years. But you know it's people people getting into the game. I, I the advice I give is you know definitely you know give your all into it. You know, I say stay independent till you, you know, catch a break or whatever. And because that way when it come, you know, you, you got one, you, you got both your feet in there the way they can't just move you the way they want to move you. You got a right to stand up and say, you know, now nah, we doing this. You know, we kind of got a little leverage here. So, you know, they can because it, cause it's all about money, you know, and people try to step in and, 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 and handle, you know, what I'm saying if your business ain't right. So I say just keep doing your thing, stay motivated and, um. You know, long as you long as you make your name in these streets, you know they can't they can't take that from you. You got ground to stand on. So that's what we doing. That's what we that's what we did. That's what we doing. And you know, for the most part, that's what we gonna keep doing. So 
that's the advice I got for anybody who's trying to come up and, you know, do this music thing. Because it ain't, you know, it ain't gravy. It ain't hard as long as the music good, but you just got to beat these streets up with the music, you know, so. Work hard at anything you do. You got to work hard at like anything you start, you're independent. So, you know, if you start something, you got to put your, like you say, put your all into it, man. You know what I mean? And, and go hard at it. That's basically it, like you were saying. You know what I mean? But you got to, it, 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 it's, it's a good thing, though. You know what I mean? It's a good thing. I mean, it's a learning process. You grow. You know what I mean? You, you find out, you know, what you should have did and what you shouldn't have done. You know, a lot of times, ain't people that'll tell you, you got to learn from your mistakes. <laughs> But it, you know, it all come together as some good in my, you know, in my, you know, my eye. So you know, like you say, you know, that, you know, it is what it is with that. Okay. Me on Facebook, Doughboy and Money Mun. You know what I mean? You can Facebook that. Uh, YouTube, like you say, you know what I mean? Check out that. Uh, Trap flooded, ready for the world. You know what I mean? Work. You know what I mean? YouTube that. So you know what I mean? They can check us out on that right there. Uh, we in the streets, heavy promoting. You know what I mean? Passing out CDs. You might see us in the corner near you on your block passing out CDs. and got a bunch of young niggas with us. Well, you know, click tight record shirts on and they passing out CDs. So, you know, that's how, you know they can reach us just like that, man. Also, um, you can check out datpiff.com. Put in Ready yep. for the World. Uh, Facebook, actually, uh, on, I think you gave it to them, but it's Doughboy. And it's actually D O U. G H B O I on uh, Facebook. So instead of Y, just put in Doughboy with an I, Money Mud. You can actually go on our Facebook page and um, we got links already up. So, well, you can just click on that, go straight to the videos, mixtapes, you know, everything we got on there. So, you know, check us out and be looking out for the new videos, the new mixtapes, and all that shit. So, we really just working hard, you know, trying to, trying to beat these clubs and the streets up, man, you know, trying to make it do what it do. You know, shit. Goddamn, get a. Once we got them breakthrough, you know what I mean? Y'all will see a lot more of us. But right now, we tearing the west side up. Goddamn, all of Atlanta for the most part, though. But, you know, keep an eye out for us. We on the, we, 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 we on the rise, though. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. Go for the wake, man. Ready for the world. Niggas wake up every